on my newest achievement, a sun filter, which actually shows the sun dots. Quite nice, but it wasn't quite as easy as I thought it would be. I got professional sun foil for my telescope, a couple of speaker wings with uh, 30 centimeters outer diameter and 23.6 centimeters inner diameter. And I'm just gonna walk you through it a little bit on the do's and do not do's regarding the filter. Now the first attempt of this project was not a success. I'll get to that in a minute. So let's just get started with these rings once they're dry. The actual construction starts. So far so good. Now this disc has an outer diameter of 30 centimeters and an inner diameter of only 19 centimeters. That's because, first of all, the telescope itself has, an, uh, has a diameter of 8 inches, which is also which is approximately 20 centimeters. And with this 19 centimeter opening, you, you can make sure that the, the filter foil is completely uh, covering up the hole. And so you have absolutely no sunlight emitting through it, which is very important. Also notice here, one side is transparent of this disc and the other one is painted and make sure that you attach the foil to the painted side because that way no sunlight is emitting through it and then take a 20 centimeters by 20 centimeter roster of double-sided duct tape and just go all the way around the opening like so and cut it off whatever you don't need yeah so far so good Now, use a lot of caution when handling this filter foil. I mean, just by taking it out once, I had a feeling that there were holes and cracks and everything already in it. Now, the guy um, who sold it to me said that uh, it's not uncommon to have slight perforations inside the foil. However, I had like two or three actual tears in there. Not very big, only about uh, needle sized, but still I had to sort of cover them up with a couple of um, yeah, spare parts from the leftover of this uh, of this foil. But uh, yeah, other than that, just make sure you keep it inside the other two foils and then use extreme caution in attaching it. And then just take the uh, solar foil into a brochure or a booklet like so. Fix the edge of the foil onto the duct tape and you can just pull it across evenly distributing the foil halfway decently <laughs> and voila yeah you're finished perfect now it's very important that you put absolutely no tension onto the foil just let it sort of loose like here and that's completely fine that's from the other side looking pretty good actually Also in terms of safety, between the two speaker rings I attached this little threaded rod and uh, just uh, also with a little handle on, on it just so that I can basically screw on the, uh, the frame onto the tube of the telescope. Also you can see here in the middle that initially I had the two acrylic glass uh, plates which I had in the beginning of the video I used them sort of as a shield on both sides of the uh, of, of the filter foil but unfortunately two millimeter acrylic glass is really really not good in order to use for observations you'll see the results in just a, in just a few moments but here you can see the retaining system because I was a little scared that maybe the uh, the rings would be a little too loose on the tube of the telescope, so I wanted to have this little extra feature. But also this two three millimeter uh, upholstery tape, which fits in quite nicely. I mean, I, I uh, put the two rings in just the uh, right distance uh, towards each other, so that this um, this tape fits right into it. And that gives it a really snug fit. I mean, the threaded rod up there is actually quite uh, useless because this system right here fits absolutely precisely onto the tube of the telescope. 
So yeah, final assembly. Always remember to mark the discs, as you can see there. That way you uh, you don't get confused on where the drilling holes were and how it's supposed to be aligned. And yeah, then just take off the, the protection foil of the acrylic glass. Nice. Absolutely no sunlight going through that. So time to screw everything together. Beautiful. And this is how the acrylic glass plates ended up as a protection shield still, but detachable. At least on one side, on the other side, I have a casing which my wife made again, so that's gonna be fine. So, out in the field. This is the initial version with the two acrylic glass plates covering up the filter foil. It looks beautiful, all straight, all. No, no bubbles, no nothing, that's quite pretty. But these acrylic glass plates really mess up your optics. It's all blurry, it's all fuzzy. And so that's why I ended up throwing them out or putting them to a different use. Also, you can see this harness here, which I also put on just to be safe, to have like two layers of safety, just to make sure the filter never comes off when in use. Now what you see here is the take with the acrylic glass plates covering up the filter foil and as you can see it's all blurry. I tried to get a little more contrast into it and getting a yellow filter on top of the eyepiece but no can do. It was and it was it was not because a couple of, of uh, clouds around or anything. It was just that blurry. They were the dots were not visible. It was a mess. So this is the second version just the pure foil nothing else covering the lens and the results Ah, oh, beautiful. Got my zoom eyepiece there from about 22 millimeters to 18 millimeters. And uh, yeah, those are the dots. No flares, however, at this point, but let's see what the future holds. So yeah, that was my filter build. Hope you enjoyed that and see you soon. ROV video coming up next. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.